GCSE physics boosters. This is my first electricity video and it's about current. There's current and voltage and resistance are the three things you really need to understand. Current is pretty straightforward. Let's go for it. So electrical current. Now current, the current in a river is the rate of flow of water. Okay, current is the amount of water divided by time. The rate of means divided by time, how much happens every second or every minute or whatever. So the current in a river is the amount of water divided by time. Now, amount of water, that could be the mass of water in kilograms, or it could be the volume of water. Uh, time, we're gonna measure in seconds. And so the current is either going to be kilograms per second or meters cubed per second. The important point here is that current is the amount of water divided by time. Now, that's in a river. In a circuit, uh, it's not water, it's charge. Something called charge flows around this circuit. OK, in this circuit, it's going to go from positive to negative anti-clockwise. We have uh, current is the amount of charge divided by time. Current is the rate of flow of charge. Uh, so I equals Q over T. I is the current, which is measured in amps or amperes, if you like, but amps will do me, capital A. Q is charge, which is measured in coulombs, and T is time, which is measured in seconds. What's charge then? You're going to do a little bit of work about electric fields, so we'll come back to this, but briefly mention what is charge? Well, it's this, it's something that an object can have. It can either be positive or negative. Uh, we know that opposite charges attract. We know that like charges repel. Uh, charge is measured in coulombs after some French bloke who did a lot of work on charge. Okay, don't worry too much about what charge is. It's either positive or negative. It's something that an object can have is charge. Now, in a circuit or in a metal wire, uh, in a conductor, there are these things called free electrons. Uh, you should know that, you know, in an atom, you've got your nucleus and your nucleus is positive, uh, And then your electrons are kind of whizzing around in orbit. Yeah. In shells. OK, you've done a lot of that in chemistry as well. Now, in a metal, you've also got free electrons. You've got uh, electrons which can move around. They are delocalized. Um, usually in the metal, they're not particularly going anywhere. They're just kind of bouncing around in between the atoms very, very quickly. But if we put a voltage across this wire, then what will happen is that the electrons will drift through it. You know, if I make that end of the wire positive and that end of the wire negative, what's going to happen is that the free electrons are going to go bouncy, 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 bashing away, banging into all these atoms, and they will, we say that they drift, okay? They will drift through the wire, and the electrons have a charge. They are negatively charged, so we have a flow of charge, and that is what a current is, okay? Current is the flow of charge. It's not the flow of electrons. The electrons have charge, and because the electrons are moving, then we have a current. But it doesn't necessarily have to be electrons. There are positively charged particles as well. There's other things which can move and provide the current. In electrolysis, it's positive and negative ions that give us a current. But anyway, I'm waffling on. Let's move on, get on with it. OK, now there's a few rules for current that you need to know in a single closed loop. The current must be the same everywhere or or we can say components in series must have the same current flowing through them. So here we have a single loop, a single circuit. So the current must be the same everywhere. In this case, 0.7 amps. 
think of it as the river the current in a river must be the same everywhere unless it branches off then if there's just one single straight bit of river the current must be the same everywhere because we're not losing any cars or gaining any cars this is another type of circuit this is a parallel circuit and we have branches now in a parallel circuit the total current must stay the same what will happen here is that we have our 1.8 amps there the current is get, going to get to this point here and the current will split and some of it will go that way and some of it will go that way and then at this point it will join back together again the total current has to stay the same so the total current is 1.8 uh, here 0 0.7 plus 1.1 the total current has to stay the same okay uh, now how much current flows through each branch you know here we've got 1.1 amps uh, here we have 0 0.7 amps uh, and that is to do with the resistance of that branch and we're going to talk a lot about resistance in another video If we want to know the current at any point in a circuit, then we use an ammeter uh, and we put the ammeter in series. If we want to know the current going through something, then if we put an ammeter in series with it, then the current is going to go through the ammeter and it will tell us what the current is. Ammeter in series. Remember, ammeter in series, voltmeter in parallel. Voltmeters, that's the next video but ammeters in series. Here's a couple of questions for you to have a go at. What I suggest you do is pause the video and I'll show you the answers in three, two, one. Okay, so the first one uh, is a typical sum. Whenever you do a sum, write the equation, substitute in the numbers, work it out, don't forget the units i equals q over t little trick here one minute now so one minute is 60 seconds uh, the next one a current of 0 0.3 amps flows through a resistor for 20 seconds so rearrange the equation we need to rearrange the equation okay don't substitute in the numbers until you've rearranged the equation and then it's dead easy, 0 0.3 times 26 coulombs. Uh, the first circuit here, um, the current through bulb A is 0 0.15 amps. What will the current through bulb B? Well, they are in series, so uh, it'll be the same, 0 0.15 amps. Uh, and you can put an ammeter anywhere you like. You could put the ammeter there, you could put the ammeter there, you could put the ammeter there. You could put the ammeter there as long as the ammeter is in series because the current is the same everywhere it doesn't matter where you put it then the last one the current at point a is 4.2 so if that's 4.2 okay then that must be 4.2 because the total current is the same so that's 4.2 as well yeah uh, now the current at point b is 2.4 so that's 2.4 by the way in the exam don't be afraid to kind of do your own little bit of scribbling on the paper yeah you're allowed to so 4.2 2.4 so that must be 4.2 minus 2.4 which i believe is 1.8 amps don't forget amps like i did there amps capital a amps amps okay in a parallel circuit the total current must stay the same 